feel like he'd hire like a private investigator. You know what I'm saying? <gasps> no! Oh my god, he died! Oh no! Oh my god, do we do we do we do we leave? Do we let it happen? No! My game! My game! <laughs> <laughs> Daniel just got spared by my game. Hi guys, and welcome back to yet another Sims 2 stream. I am live right now every single Saturday at 7 p.m. EST on twitch.tv slash acontonsock if you guys would like to join live or when you're here in chat saying hello, hello future me. So today we're gonna be playing the Sims 2 Pleasant Household. Yes, do, 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 do. very exciting. The Pleasant Household, this is not the base Pleasant Household. I mean, we still have Mary Sue, we still have Daniel, we still have Angela. Lilith has moved out. Let me just show you guys. It'll be easier to show you guys. They're still living in their traditional, like, pleasant household here. I forgot the street name, but yeah. Daniel's old as shit, and he's sick. And well, everyone in this house is pretty sick. Mary Sue's on the cusp of being an elder. She never found out that Daniel has been cheating on her repeatedly, but maybe she'll find out. Who knows? And then we also have Angela, who's pregnant. Oh my god, we'll talk about that shortly. And then we also have Emery. I did give the upstairs like a major renovation. Like I took out Lilith's old room and I made one of the rooms for Angela. And then one of the rooms will be for her baby that she's carrying. And then this is Emery. I feel like Emery is going to be like the golden child. So this is Mary Sue and Daniel's youngest. She's a child. She's pretty young, actually. They had her pretty late. So, oh, who's Angela's baby daddy? All right, well, well, should we get into that, the drama there? So this household has so much drama in it because, so here's the thing, right? Angela, right here, she went to college, she finished, she graduated with a degree. What did she graduate with a degree? I, I forget what she got. I think it's like drama, right? It's a, yeah, it's drama. So she majored in drama, right? Now, personally to me, I am not a fan of Angela. I kind of have the headcanon that she would break up with Dustin and why I think she'd break up with Dustin is because she like thinks that she's better than him because she went to like college and like is college educated and that sort of thing also she cheated on him numerous times in college and all around was just a shitty person but also I really don't like Angela so you know that's probably um a little bit of me displacing my anger at Angela on Angela <laughs> so she cheated on Dustin but before she broke up with him like officially you know, she did get in one last woohoo, which is so to say that Angela's baby daddy is none other than the guy that she thinks that she's better than Dustin broke. Yes, she is. She is pregnant with a broke baby. And in my head, I feel like she would not tell Dustin like she would keep it on the down low. She would pretend it's like someone else's. So I never, I don't think that she would ever tell Dustin that he's like the baby daddy. I really don't think so. Um, because she just isn't, she's too pretentious. She's too, she's too full of herself. She's too arrogant. She doesn't wanna, she doesn't want her baby to be associated with the broke family. So this baby will in fact be taking the pleasant last name and Angela's gonna raise it herself. Be a shame if she gave the baby away. Or that it that or just lying it never comes out yeah i think she would it would never come out like who like i think everyone in her life would be like angela who's the baby daddy who's the baby daddy who's the baby daddy and then she would never she would never give it up she'd never tell who the real baby daddy of her baby is will she have the baby to the adoption system see i was thinking about having her just give it up oh my god i gotta delete these so um of course i'm having daniel try and complete his lifetime wish of woohoo with 20 different sims so you know we'll probably see some girls occasionally come by and drop off some flowers at his house i was really thinking about having her give up the baby but i feel like i feel like maybe we should have the story that mary sue and daniel pretend it's their kid and then angela stays in the house for nine months you know what i'm saying so maybe i'll do that yes angela would pass the baby off as someone else's yes <laughs> it's giving dina loki i i should have probably gave the baby up but i don't think the pleasants like would allow that personally i think that they would want their image because you gotta remember mary she's in politics and it might be kind of a bad look for her daughter to like i don't know you know how people are like the public perception of 
you know, single mothers and that kind of thing is. So anyway, maybe we'll have Angela stay in for nine months and then the, the Daniel and Mary Sue will pass it off as their baby. <laughs> So yeah, that's the storyline we're playing out today in the Pleasant family. Um, we only have a couple more days with them, but I don't know how many, how, how far along Angela is. I think she's like two days long, maybe? Oh, it's your baby be blonde, I know. I think that Daniel's parents are blonde, though. Like, one of them was blonde, maybe? I can't remember. Maybe not. Maybe they weren't blonde. Anyway, it doesn't matter because, um, you know, recessive genes and all that gonna be hard for it to pass off as Daniel and Mary Sue's. I think Mary Sue would do it because she loves her kids. Uh, she loves Lilith. I don't think Mary Sue quite loves- or no, she loves Angela, sorry. I don't think she quite loves Lilith though. I don't- I'm, I'm still a little bit- um, I have a little bit of animosity towards Mary Sue and, and Daniel because I hate the way that they treated Lilith. Like, I love Lilith. She's probably my favorite sim in Pleasant View. Maybe next to Brandy. Oh, we need groceries. Okay. So I have so much animosity towards Mary Sue and Daniel. Like, I just don't like how they have to be. I don't like how that they treated Lilith because she was different. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> Watch your baby be blonde with a square ass jawline. <laughs> oh my God. It's mine, I promise. Probably because Lilith has a stellar storyline. I love Lilith. I think she's so cute. She's my favorite sim. Maturing is realizing Lilith was always a better twin. I think they love Lilith, but they don't like her. I don't even think that. I just don't think that... I don't think that they... I think that they just always favored Angela, personally. That's how, like, I interpret it. But right now, we just need to work on keeping Miss Angela alive. <gasps> oh my god, look who came! stalking around look who came stalking around the man himself oh he's I, I you know what he probably heard some whisperings of like hey i heard that your ex-girlfriend's pregnant mm-hmm i think he knows i think he knows i feel like dustin would fight for like custody of the baby too yeah oh oh he's worrying about money I'm sorry. Oh, thank you, A Asha. I haven't seen you in a while, Asha. Good evening. Good evening, Asha. Lego shaped head. <laughs> he looks grizzly. He's been living in the trailer park, guys. Okay. He looks like he sells weed. He's in the paranormal career, so who knows what the hell that even means? He he could potentially sell weed. Oh, are they doing what I think they're doing? Oh, yeah. They. Okay. Um. All right. So what we're gonna do okay emery's gonna accept the groceries that was not what i was expecting to go up there and see um literally in front of the entire window <laughs> i feel i feel like a voyeur oh my god i just saw a gravestone over daniel's head he's gonna die he's gonna die man is gonna die oh my god just okay well interesting um let's just work on keeping oh she burnt her omelet Anyway, Emery's up. I feel like Emery is gonna be like the golden child, honestly. So this is Mary Sue and Daniel's daughter. And she's very cute. Okay, wait. <laughs> I said she's very cute and then she looks like this. Listen, she's gonna grow up and be like the star of the family. I just know it. I, I can tell she's gonna be like a little preppy kid. Oh my God, that scared the shit out of me. <laughs> Thank you, I will save <laughs> death by woohoo. Is Emery gonna get pregnant at 11? What the fuck, Lizzie? Not him dying from woohoo, literally. Romantic. Okay, wait, are they still getting it on? No, they're not. Okay, they're done. And now he's just stroking her face. Um, have some. Let's have. Wait, who's. Oh, it's her carpool. Okay, go to work. Go to work. It's time to go to work. Daniel has. Gotta go to the bathroom here. <laughs> she's cute in her own way. She's definitely cute in her own way. What's her personality? Let's see. Um, She's literally middle of the line for everything, but she's a little bit more grouchy. She's grouchy. All right. Well, let's have Angela go to the bathroom. She needs to sleep, too. Gotta go to sleep. <clears throat> 
Lucy, oh right, I forgot Lucy got pregnant as a teen. I forgot that. That was in Pleasant View 1.0, wasn't it? Yeah, that was not the best situation for Lucy to be in. She had like triplets, right? You called Lucy lucky? Oh my god, not Angela going to sleep where her parents just got it on. Nice. Anyway, so I did try and change like my ACR settings so that Mary Sue can get pregnant up until like the day that she ages up to an elder. But I think I messed it up, maybe. Oh wait, no I didn't because base odds are 15%, which works out to 150 chances out of 10,000. And because she's on her final day of being an adult, I think that did work. So I think I did it right. I think I changed the age curve correctly for ACR because I did... Hello? <laughs> Daniel? Why does he look so mad? <laughs> He's so angry at life. He's just pissed off. <laughs> oh my god. What happened to that save? Uh, Pleasant View 1.0? I just got bored of it, so I just... I, I stopped playing it. That was pretty much it. <laughs> he looks a little bit pissed off. I think he's watching over Angela. He keeps thinking about a gravestone. I'm gonna have him go downstairs and go to sleep. And we're gonna have him- we're just gonna save again because I'm a little bit- I'm a little bit scared that he's gonna pass away. I have a feeling he's gonna pass away, guys. I'm a little bit scared. <laughs> I'm lurking and stalking when he least expected it. Literally- oh my god, he just looked at her when he went out. Why is he walking so slow? Hello? All right, interesting. I love Angela's room though. I think it's like so her. It's like yellow cream color. I don't know, it just seems very Angela. Help Alex's gold digger girlfriend just got pregnant on the same day she moved in. Oh my God. Not Alex getting played just like his father did. Daniel probably hates Dustin and is the one that got his baby girl pregnant. Oh, okay. Oh, oh, he stole my newspaper. He's pissed guys. I think Dustin knows. Baby Daddy Drama. That's gotta be the title of this episode. Baby Daddy Drama. Gotta get a picture of him. He looks, he's holding nothing in his hand. <laughs> Maybe I can Photoshop a bottle into his hand. <clears throat> All right, let's see. No, go to sleep. Lots of woohoo in his bed. It's very specific. Why is he kind of hot? <laughs> Um, I think you have interesting <laughs> tastes if you think Dustin's hot. Also, we got child support. I'm gonna have to turn that off when we end up, when the baby comes out because he's not supposed to know it's his kid, but he's like sending child support payments. So it's kind of a problem. I just don't know how to turn it off when the baby's in the womb. He looks so greasy, he does. That's the idea though. <clears throat> Why does he keep coming around? I think he hates Angela. I'm pretty sure because she broke up with him. I did have her, I had him, I had, oh, I think he maybe found out. No, they're still friends. Yeah, they're still friends. I think it's because Daniel hates him. That is probably why, yeah. That might be it or Angela did, I, I did have her break up with him. So I don't know. I, I'm not sure. I'm not sure why he's he's just he's mad because of the baby situation. Okay. Oh, she just got up and started working out. Okay, Angela, Miss Pregnant Girl. Look at her go. I want to see how many hours pregnant she is. Should we do a prediction as well? We can go and um, do a prediction for the baby gender prediction. Where is pregnancy scanner? My mind just like blinked. 63 hours, guys. We have like less than a day left. Girl boss moves. Oh, did, did she just lose weight? Oh my god. Girl, stop working out, please. <laughs> I cannot have you, Miss Gary. Go eat a salad, please. Oh my god. Stop. Stop coughing, please, Angela. Listen, I did not tell you to work out. That was all you're doing. Let us remember. I'm trying to get rid of her baby body before the baby's even here. <laughs> She's gonna die. I know. I'm working on it, Will. I'm working on it. I'm working on it, okay? I understand. Try to get the baby out. True. <clears throat> okay, go eat the salad. Oh my god, she has to pee super bad. 
Oh, okay. Daniel's up. Go eat some salad too. Everyone just have a salad. Salad for everybody. I go use, take a shower. What? I need to ask this. Has anyone had an egg explode when they are boiling it? I've never had that happen. Why oh, is she wearing a prison jumpsuit? I didn't even realize that. <laughs> she is kind of wearing a prison jumpsuit. Oh my god, Daniel keeps thinking about um he has, keeps having tombstones over his head. I think he's gonna die from his sickness. I need to have Angela serve up she's a family sim, right? No, she's popularity. Emery wants to bring home Carlo. Yes. Perfect. Maybe Emery and Carlo can get together. I wonder if I had a partner lined up. Cause I like to like kind of scout out who can be together when they're older. I'm not sure if I plotted out partners yet for the Ramirez boys. I don't think I did. No, I didn't. Okay, cool. So maybe they can be a potential couple in the future. Okay, Daniel's about to pee himself here. Go to the bathroom. <clears throat> the shell was really black and inside it was soggy. Ew, the egg? It's gross. Might just have... Is there any family sim in this house? No. Is there any family sim that they are friends with? Alexander... Oh my god, please stop, Angela. She's literally gonna die. She keeps, like, dancing. I don't know how she dances like that when she's pregnant. <sighs> Alright, um, where's Carlo? Carlo is nowhere to be seen. You invited him over and then you're not even hanging out with him. Let's... Fight? <laughs> Torment? Oh my god. Let's entertain him. She wants to become friends with Felix and Phineas. Who the hell is Felix and Phineas? That is not Carlo. Why is Dustin here again? Dustin! Leave us alone! He's always here! I've never had a sim be this hovering over my household. Like, leave me alone! Oh my god. Why is so obsessed with me? I've- I've never had this happen. Dustin's a- he's in a stalker era, honestly. <laughs> you smell this baby in there? Joe from you, no literally. He's stalking Angela. Oh, Mary Sue! She got a promotion! Congrats, Mary Sue. Level 5, a city council member. Restraining order incoming, literally. You know, he's scary. He knows he's gonna steal that baby. He's trying to get custody, I think. Oh, Daniel's home. Dance together. Oh, Cute. Okay, let's have Mary Sue go and get freshened up from work. Emery sick. Oh my gosh, she got sick again. Good play. I kind of support Angela dumping him now, dodged a bullet. Yeah, he's creepy, isn't he? I've never had a sim like be this clean stuff it's like actually kind of jarring for me he's quite clingy i need to hire a repair person to come over <gasps> no i forgot that her birthday was today fuck okay i need to get that mod that changes the age up time oh my god i need to get that mod i can't believe i forgot it I'm so mad. I don't care for them. I feel kind of bad that she just aged up. That was going to be her last birthday. Age up time. 12 a.m. Sims 2 mod. I need that mod. Aging at midnight instead of 6 p.m. Fuck. 6 p.m. is too... Isn't it so early? It's like way, way, way too early. All right, let's get this one. It's a simple tweak that changes the hour of aging process in this when you're a will age at midnight, like in The Sims 3 and Sims 4. Uh, no conflict would be any lifespan mod. So I, can, I can't use it? Because I have a I have an aging... Hmm. Does this not work with custom lifespans? Does anyone know? Is this mod... Was conflict with lifespan mods. I made them myself. There's a beacon. I could change the sims as well. I'm, my sims are barely home from work and I have to rush them to a cake. I know, it's so annoying. 
I just don't know if this would conflict with my custom age span. Tells you how to change the time and lifespan mod you use. Open the lifespan mod via SimPE, choose- oh, tuning age. Oh! Oh, okay. Okay, okay. Alright, let me save my game and then we'll quit. And then I can change it. In SimPE. Oh my god, guys, we're gonna do a little bit of SimPE. Scary. Scary stuff. It conflicts with custom age spans, but it's super easy to edit. Okay. Um... So do I edit my- do I edit my original aging, my custom age span, or do I edit this, this file in this mod? I have some PE open. Um, I'm just gonna open up my custom, my own age span, my custom aging. Yes. All right, we're here in some PE. Tuning. Here's my custom age. I go here. I'm not sure what though. Go here, go here. Where do we go? Don't want a mod, edit your aging mod. Okay, what am I editing? What do we edit? Process hour? Is this it? Process hour. I think it's this right here, isn't it? Process hour 18. So what do I change it to? From 18 to 00. zero. Okay, perfect. That's pretty simple. Process hour. There. Commit. Wait. Zero, zero. It changes it to just one zero. Is that okay? What's my age span? Um, I changed it recently. I think it's in my Discord. I, think I changed it on Discord. I think I put like what it is. Hold on. Um, save. I hope that works. <laughs> my teens live for eight days. My children live for six. Toddlers are two. Babies are one, I think. Adult is 43. Teen, oh, my teens are eight days, sorry. Anyway, I changed. I just I just made a custom age span like a couple of days ago. Okay, so hopefully that'll fix that. So I won't have to deal with Mary Sue aging up. <laughs> I feel bad that she aged up like in the bathroom. She literally aged up in the bathroom. Oh, what a shame. What a shame. I hope I didn't already have that age at midnight mod in my game because I think it might conflict at what is it called aging at midnight is that what it's called just make sure i don't have it yeah i don't have it i don't think okay back in the sims 2 at least she got a promotion that's true at least she did get a promotion right while dumping <laughs> literally <laughs> while taking a dump um someone asked what my my custom age span is this is it baby two days toddler four days child eight days teen ten days Adult 45 days and that comes out to 69 days. All right, yeah, yeah, ha ha, ha 69. All right, we move past it. Is it realistic aging or is it just, a, it's, a, it's just my liking. It's just like what I like to play. I like to have my adults have like a lot of days and I, and I need more times for my teens. But yeah, I don't think it's realistic. Um, Actually, it might be realistic. Because I know Pleasant Sims has her Sims die at 60 years old, which I thought was a little bit too young for me. So I think mine die at like 70 or something like that. I heard seeing that lifespan. Mine has to be in sets of seven. I just do like what I play, whatever I whatever I need, whatever more days I need. Hi, Anna Banana. I mean, Daniel and Mary Sue have four more kids and Daniel didn't want any more babies. I never have the opportunity to have Mary Sue and Daniel have kids because they never have enough time, unfortunately. They're always too old by the time I like actually get them not mad at each other. Uh, one time I had Angela do like couples counseling for them, which is pretty sick. Katie, thank you for the four months. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. Can't believe Noel's young at all, right? He's growing up. Our Into the Future air is growing up so fast. Maybe I should implement my Sims 3. Well, no, it might be too long because in Sims 3, I have my Sims live for 110 days, which is holy shit. That is so long. I think I have 104 days in the Sims 3. I can't remember, but in Sims 2, it's like not even 70 days, which is crazy. The ability to fine tune age spans in the Sims 3 was the best. I agree. 
I agree. I've been binging your YouTube videos for the past week. Your vids on fixing The Sims 2 are so helpful. Thank you, Anne. I appreciate it. I have one day equals six months lifespan, but I don't know if I want to keep it. I don't know how you guys figure that out. That's too much math. I'm like, I just want to play. I just want to play. I, don't, I hate doing math. The Sims 2, I've never had to do math in a game more than I have to in The Sims 2, and I hate it because I literally failed math. I didn't fail math. That's a lie. I got like A's, but you know, I struggled with math. Um, should we age up Goopy? Goopy Simpson? No, I'm not gonna age up anybody. I don't know who these Sims are. I might eat them in the future. Um, okay, so Mary Susan Elder. Let's change her up a little bit. I shall when I play Rip in my next rotation. She'll probably be able to her transition. I'm so excited. So my Sims 3, uh, so my Sims and Sims 3 can have like 700 days? Are you serious? I... 700 days that might be too that might be too much natasha it might be too much it might be a little too much i kind of like this hair on on mary sue mary sue um let's have her have some top lashes how about that let's give her some age wrinkles you know she is getting older uh, a little bit of no shading maybe not freckles they don't have freckles um, we're having a little nose mask, maybe some eye bags. I love adding face details on my Sims. Just makes them look more realistic, I think. How do you not get burned out by seven? Yeah, 700 days, that is crazy, Tosh. Like, I've, that is, I, I don't know if I've heard of a longer Sims gameplay <laughs> than, than what you just told me. That's actually bizarre. I don't like having elders. I get rid of them as soon as I can. Oh my god. See, I get really like attached to my Sims. So I love having elders around because it means I feel like I kind of feel fulfilled when I have elders because it's like I did that. Like I played through all of that and got them to this point. And honestly, it makes me feel super like accomplished. So I don't I don't know where I got this CC from, but wow, I downloaded some good elder CC. I always feel like for my elders, I'm always lacking in clothing. So when I open up and I finally see some new clothes for my elders, it makes me feel very good. <clears throat> All right, the rest I don't care about. I like the idea of having elders outside my household, but I hate playing with them. I have fr fragile elders are in The Sims 4. They are very fragile, like they can't work out or anything, can they? Get like super tired or whatever. Is Daniel? No. Daniel, that's so fucked up that Emery just picked that up. Wow, that is really messed up. Okay, um, so what are we doing now? Dustin's still here. Dustin, guys, I think we might need a restraining order because this man is stalking Angela, like 100%. Good night, acid. Like, I. I've never had a sim like this before. He's definitely gonna have to be in the thumbnail because he is just, wow. He's he's stalking, he's stalking already. Oh my God, are you okay, Angela? She's hacking up a lung. She's hacking up a lung. I'm, I'm so scared Angela's gonna die. Like I can foresee it. Oh my God, now Daniel's coughing incessantly. Did I call a repair person? I don't even remember. He's gonna steal it. He is. He can sense the fetus in there. I would think that maybe like around town he heard somewhere on like the street or maybe like his friends or something like that. Maybe told him, hey, your ex-girlfriend's pregnant. The timing seems a little bit strange, don't you think? He'd probably be like, huh, you might be right. I feel like he'd hire like a private investigator, you know what I'm saying? <gasps> no! Oh my god, do we, do we, do we, do we leave? Do we let it happen? Uh, do we let it happen? Oh my, do we, do we let him die? Let it happen, yes. Plead. Oh, 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 right, we can plead, we can plead, we can plead. Oh my god. Mary Sue, get up! Bitch, get up, please! Wait, she can plead, right? Angela can plead? Plead for a loved one. Go, Angela. No, my game, my game! <laughs> <laughs> Daniel just got spared by my game. Daniel got spared. My game just spared Daniel. 
My game won't stand out to live, guys. What can I say? <laughs> My game loves Daniel, I guess. <laughs> the game said not today. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Wow. I cannot believe that that just happens. I can't believe my game spared him. I'm actually shocked right now. It's very not often that that happens. <laughs> Daddy Daniel lives another day. He does. What even just happened? Daniel was sick from Pleasant View 19, and that's what happened. Yeah. <clears throat> is he a good sim? Daniel? Uh, he's a bad boy. Daniel is a bad boy. Who is the father of Angela's children? It's Dustin Broke. But they are no longer together, and she is keeping it a secret. <clears throat> Dustin's a cheater, he is. Oh my god. I have a mod that caps the upper limit on the success based on the relationship level to be 50% because the in-game odds being 90% are so crazy. Listen, Will, I have the, um, in Sims Chord, I have the, the mod that someone uploaded so that death is less likely from sickness, but my Sims still die all the time from the sickness in the game. I don't know what it is but it happens all the time and i don't know i forget who the original creator was of the edited sickness mod but they like lessen the chances and my sims still die all the time i don't know what the problem is i don't i don't think i have two sickness mods in my game but holy shit, they die so often i don't know why daniel's the furthest sim from good literally <laughs> my sims never die or catch anything and if you don't have like a mod that makes the sickness um, more intense, then yeah, they won't, they really, it won't be successful. <clears throat> I kind of like it. It helps with population control. Sure, you are morbid. <laughs> There's, isn't there a bug? The cold is not supposed to kill Sims. Uh, I think that's like a feature built in with the game is it's not supposed to kill Sims. But I, my Sims get sick so quickly and they also die from sickness so easily. <clears throat> Dustin can smell Angela's HDC levels from the street, though he, so he's keeping his ass on that sidewalk until he can see his kid. <laughs> is the sick thing a bug in The Sims 2? I don't think it is. All right, so where did we... Oh, so Mary Sue just aged up, right. I have to redo her sleigh makeover I gave her. <clears throat> I can't believe Daniel just died like like that. Like he just blatantly just died. <clears throat> I installed the sickness mod yesterday so it doesn't doesn't kill my town. Listen, if you don't have like a version that makes it less intense, your sims will die like nonstop. I swear it happens to me. Every single time my sims like catch the cold, I just expect at least one of them to die. I don't know why it's like that, but just how my game works. Mary Sue getting dolled up. Did she know Daniel was gonna die? <laughs> she knew. She had a she had a sixth sense. <laughs> she had a feeling. I got a feeling. Woohoo! That Daniel is gonna die. <laughs> Daniel is gonna die. Wait, I just put her in all black too. Oh my god. She knows. Mary Sue's sentient. <laughs> she hears us. All right, let's save. <clears throat> Isn't he close to dying anyways? No, he's like, he barely just aged up to an elder. He's got quite a lot of time left. Oh my God. We need to get a family sim over here. Um, what if we invite? Okay, I have an idea. Is anyone friends with Brandy? Brandy broke. She's a family sim. Oh, Coral's a family sim, right? Does anyone know if, if Coral's a family sim? Um, who else is a family sim? Does anyone know Brandy? Do we not know- not know Brandy in this game? No one knows Brandy, are you serious? I can't remember if Coral's a family sim or not. Hold on, I have my spreadsheet. Why am I- why am I pretending like I don't have a spreadsheet? Um, Coral is... A... Coral is a... 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 Family sim! Yes! Yes! Okay, we're gonna invite over Coral. Oops, I didn't mean to turn on myself. We can... Uh, invite over Coral 
and we'll have her make them some soup. How about that? Teleport, summon, coral, oldie. Where are you? Oldie, coral. All right, I'm gonna make her selectable and she's gonna serve up some grandma's comfort soup. Grandma's making some gra grandma's comfort soup for everybody. Oh my god, I forgot that Coral had a fling with Don Lothario. <laughs> Guys, Coral was banging Don Lothario. I don't know what to tell you. I'm, I'm so sorry we all just had to witness that together. Grandma Coral is banging Don Lothario. I am so sorry. We all just had to witness that disgustingness together. Grandma's getting it. You know what? Grandma's getting it. I can't be mad. <laughs> of course it's Don. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. <laughs> grandma's getting it. I feel like Dawn begs grandma, literally. Okay, Daniel's Daniel is is on the brink of of death here. Um, I don't know what to do. He's hacking up a lung. Can he just take a seat? Just da why is Dustin here? Dustin's gonna get sick. He's like a foot away from Daniel as he's hacking up a lung. He's- he just breathed in Daniel's sick air. <laughs> Coral's a whole freak, literally. Okay. We need some grandma's comfort soup, like, immediately. Coral, just put the damn thing down, grandma, please. Grandma, please. Your son-in-law is about to croak. Put the fucking soup down, Coral, I swear to god. Alright, go have some soup, Daniel, please. All right, grab a plate. I'm, I'm gonna make Coral unselectable. Thank you for your helping us, Coral. It's all I needed from you. I think Daniel's gonna die right here. He's been hacking for like 20 minutes, guys. Coral, leave. Oh, yep, he's dead again. Damn it. It's like, all right, now we gotta plead for him. Okay, so Daniel died again. <laughs> Daniel died again. Even my game crashing cannot spare Daniel. Um, He's, yeah, he's, he's just dead. Oop, oop. <laughs> Who <laughs> let Dustin inside? Wait, how is he inside? Okay, why is there so many goddamn sims here? Okay, can we plead to the Grim? Come on, plead for plead for your own father. Okay, don't bird watch. Plead for him. Why can we not plead? Is there not enough space? Why did he have to die like on the front porch? Plead, Angela. Plead. No. Why are you in the way, Emily? Move. Please. Okay, now she's hacking up a lung, goddammit. Angela, you're gonna get Grim Reaper. You're gonna get him. You're gonna get him sick. No! 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 I couldn't plead for him! I literally couldn't plead for him because the space on the front porch is too small. Fuck. Are you serious? Not Mercy Fake Cry. <laughs> <laughs> this game hates him so much, literally, though. I don't know what to say. He just died. Oh my god, and someone said save. <laughs> I kind of... I kind of don't want to save. <laughs> I feel bad. Well... I guess we know what we need to do now. Um... I guess what we need to do now is uh, just grab... Grab Daniel and move him on over to the to the Pleasant View graveyard. He never did finish his lifetime wish. Kind of sad. All right, let's let's throw him there next to Herb Mortimer and now Daniel. Rest rest his soul. Rest his soul. Honestly, what color did I use for that? Purple color. That's so sad. Wow. Rest in peace, Daniel. I was not expecting when I logged on the stream today for Daniel to be dying. He doesn't need to die a third time. It's like the sickness in my game is so intense. I don't know what to do about it. I really just don't know what to do about it because it's like intensely strong for some reason. Anyway, so now all we have is Mary Sue, Angela, and now Emery. The plot thickens, guys. The plot thickens, honestly. I can't believe I couldn't plead for him either because it's like, okay, why is- who- who let him in? First of all, I need Mary Sue. Poor girl, she's- okay, she needs to just go to sleep. Grandma Coral's still here. I don't- when someone said in chat they don't know how she's still alive. I don't either. I- I don't know. I have no idea. Um, also, Dustin- someone let Dustin in. Maybe it was the Grim. I don't know. 
But uh, let's just ask, let's ask everyone to leave. Everyone get out of my hair. Why is he using my own toilet? Dustin, you're not supposed to be here. Dustin dancing on Daniel's grave in the backyard. <laughs> okay, stop. Can we, oh, why is every toilet breaking? Why? Leave. Goodbye. Oh, excuse me. Um, yeah, that's not supposed to happen. They are not supposed to be together <laughs> anymore. <laughs> They are not supposed to be together anymore. That is not supposed to- they were not supposed to kiss there. Interesting. Yes, we'll save our game. Coral's running on spite. If you don't want a sim to die, you should bring them back. <sighs> oh, no Angela, honey. Listen, she's like, you've been stalking my- Oh my god, I thought she's gonna- <laughs> I thought she was gonna die. I was that her attack? He was in the house mostly long before Daniel died. Now I'm sticking out the place. Daniel's haunting their toilets. Like, what is happening? Everyone keeps, um, everyone keeps hacking up a lung and no one can get cured of this sickness. Listen, we had Grandma Coral make us some soup and it didn't work. It didn't even cure Angela. Damn it. All right, go put the soup leftovers away. Maybe we can eat them later and have some more, have some more so we don't get sick. Someone let Dustin in. Dustin is the neighborhood stray dog who hangs around and waits for someone to feel bad for him. He's just like stalking our property at this point. It's kind of crazy. It is honestly kind of crazy. I've never had a sim be like this before. That's something secret looking for any signs that she's pregnant. Yeah, like her huge bump on her. Oh. Oh. Oh my God. Um, I forgot to run a prediction. Hold on, hold on. Oh my, that, I was not expecting it. <laughs> Her water broke in the bathroom! Oh my god. That was certainly unexpected. Um... <laughs> uh, oh, it's a redhead! Wow. Okay. Oh, I, I, I was gonna like change it to my face before you guys could see it so we can run a prediction. Anyway, it's a boy. It's a boy. It's a baby boy, guys. And we have to check what letter we're on. We are on letter. So we just had a Q name. So A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R. We're gonna name him Rory. Rory Pleasant, that's cute. Rory, I like that. Rory. Rory Pleasant, how cute. Little baby boy, little redheaded baby boy. Okay, let's make Rory a room. For Daniel. <laughs> Ryder. Name him Danny. Listen. Too soon. Too soon. Alright, let's turn this this way. I'm gonna put all of the workout equipment outside. Even though Daniel isn't even alive anymore to use it. Maybe Angela will use it occasionally. Okay, um... Random question. Have you ever tried twins? Twins in the game? Or have you ever had twins? Of course I have. I've had triplets. I have. I've had quads too. I had everything under the sun. Not qu uh, not. What is five? What is five kids? Is that quintuplets? Is that six? I forget. Your house is so cute. Thank you. I try. I think this kitchen desperately needs to be updated. I might update it here. Um, let's just do the kitchen. They have quite a bit of money. Mary Sue. She works her ass off to make some money. So we'll give them a nice little kitchen here. Um, just make the walls like white. They need new countertops because the countertops here are not. I don't like the color of these. Make them just white countertops. Ooh, actually, I like this like lighter shade of wood. Wait, is there a swatch like this for that? Uh, yeah, there is. Okay. There we go. Floor needs to be changed. We'll do something like this. Oh, I forgot to change these too. Let's change all of these. <clears throat> I do like in the Sims where you mods you, uh, with mods you can have more than quads. And the Sims is the same thing on like quintuplets in the Sims 3 and I wanted to cry. <clears throat> I didn't know that it was- is it only triplets and quads in the Sims 3? Oh, Enros. That's how. Okay. Alright, so we're gonna change- <clears throat> My throat's getting groggy. We're gonna change Rory's room up here. What color is Emery's is pink. I think I'm gonna make his room green. We like a green theme. I can't believe this baby was born like less than 24 hours after Daniel died. 
What unfortunate timing. Very unfortunate. Um, we'll do it like that. Okay. I'm gonna grab a crib for Rory. Like this. Actually, should I do one of these so that has like a combination? We'll do that. We'll put them right in front of the window. <clears throat> See this. Lots of room customization. I like that. Okay. We need some curtains. I'm glad that he got red hair though. So Mary Sue can play it off as her and Daniel's. Although <laughs> Mary Sue aged up to an elder. So, I mean, the town doesn't know that, okay? The town doesn't know that. The only person that would know that would be, uh, would be Dustin who's been stalking us. So I think Dustin's on to us though. I do think he's onto us and I think that he realizes, I think he's cracked the plan. And next time we play Dustin, I think we're gonna have to fight for him to get his baby back. And I think that's what we're gonna do. Yeah. This room setting is actually really pretty. Is it nice? You like it? She's a miracle baby. <clears throat> the Max in Sims 2 is quads. I don't know about three. I feel like Mary Sue would dye her hair as an elder. She went to labor the second I loaded in. I feel like Brandy would get involved. I feel like she would go bash. I know something is up to. Yeah, there'd be like a massive feud between the brokes. Ooh, I love the story. The story is so good. Listen, we got a good story going, honestly. I quite like it. I'm not gonna put a mirror in here. I feel like that's kind of a hazard. <laughs> I'm not a parent. I'm no parent, but I, don't think you're supposed to put a mirror in a child's room. That could potentially not turn out so well. Why is my game like randomly getting laggy? I think this object's really high poly count. It's like lagging my game when I try and recolor it. Um, what else do we need? We're gonna put like a play set in here, play table, like this, put one of those in here. Let's put in here maybe some of these objects like this. And maybe painting on the wall. The wall looks kind of empty. Let's put some sort of painting. Um, I need like kids room stuff. Oh, this is cute. Something like that. Mary Sue would so spoil this baby. I agree with you. I think she'd like, oh my God, you just got the shit out of me, Katie. <laughs> Thank you, Katie, for the hydration check. This coffee is so good. I love it. Um, I need some more like kids room. Oh, these fish are so cute. Let's put this here. We'll do this one over here. So cute. I wonder like what the etymology, is that the word etymology? Like the origins of the name Rory. I'm pretty sure it's like an English name, right? Now for, time for Angela to dip. I don't know if Angela would dip, but I think that she would totally be complicit in the idea of Mary Sue like claiming the baby as her and Daniel's. Even though Daniel died, which is so sad. He seems to die every single time we play Pleasant View from Pleasant View 19. He dies the same, same way every single time. So I don't know what's up with that. I don't know why that happens, but it's some sort of omen, I guess, some sort of sign. I don't know how to interpret it, but someone interpret that for me. <laughs> Apparently the name reads Red King. Oh my God. <gasps> Wait, that's kind of crazy because like Rory died when his grand. Wait, no, Rory was born when his grandpa died. So he took like his grandpa's like spirit and kind of came out of his mother's womb. I don't know. I'm just making shit up now. It sounds like some Game of Thrones type of shit. I don't know. <laughs> Red King. <laughs> That's kind of eerie though, isn't it? I think it's kind of eerie, personally. Not his spirit. He took like his gram his grandpa's, I don't know, his grandpa's like energy and harnessed it to be born in into the world or something like that. I don't know what color to make this room. I think like a blue color might be nice. Oh, red because- oh, he's a redhead! That's so good! Okay, that's another way to interpret it. Oh, that's so good. He got red hair too, which is so cute. I love redheads in The Sims too. I don't know what it is. I think it's so cute. 
little red haired babies. So cute. It's giving Shakespeare. <laughs> Rory is Gaelic, Irish, and means Red King. Oh, his his room should be red, shouldn't it? Uh, I'm, I'm too far into making it blue, so sorry. <laughs> um. Okay, let's do this. I need like a huge wall painting. I want to put a huge wall painting over here. Oh, a surfboard. I don't I don't know what I'm, I don't know the theming of this room. I'm kind of just putting shit down. <laughs> A quilt, <laughs> a quilt with a with a with a chicken on it. I love this painting. I don't know what it is. I don't know who the hell it's supposed to be, but I love it. She's an apple for a head. It's so iconic, and this one too because it's Bella. Um, I think I might just leave nothing on this wall because I'm not vibing with any of these. Okay, I'm just gonna go and we'll just play. All right, so let's put Rory in the crib. Congratulations, Angela, on your baby. She just birthed it and her water broke as she was on the toilet. Hey, at least her water broke as she was sitting on the toilet, so she doesn't have to clean up anything. Was the painting not Bella? Oh, the one with the apple? I'm not sure. The surfboard would be safety hazard. Wait, that's true. <laughs> it would be hazard. Surfboard. <clears throat> yeah, Daniel reincarnated. It literally is Rory. Poor Mary Sue, this is her first night sleeping alone. That's so sad. Like we need to throw a funeral for um, Daniel or something like that. It is Friday, we could throw a funeral. Does Mary Sue work today? Let's see. She does work today, so maybe we should throw it on Saturday instead. Um, honestly, she could take it the day off. <laughs> She's scared of Daniel coming back as a zombie. I think we're gonna throw a funeral today. Let's move this grave. We're gonna move it to First Pleasant View Church. Uh, the baby needs to be taken care of. I'm gonna have Mary Sue go upstairs and change his diaper. Daniel has died on another lot. He will return in spirit to the place of his death. Now Mary Sue and Emery wanted to arrest Daniel. Wait, did, oh, they did. They both do. Yeah, Mary Sue wants to and Emery wants to. Oh, she's still crying over her dad. I'm so sorry, I know. I'm so sorry. Oh god. Oh god, she's she's hacking a lung up. I'm so scared. I don't know how, like, I swear they die so easily in my game. Oh my god, that scared the shit out of me. I, I need to turn that. Oh, okay, I thought Angela was dying. I almost had a heart attack. Oh my god, grandma's dying now. They're all, like, coughing on in sync with each other. Okay, I'm gonna save this. I'm gonna save. <laughs> this illness is taking them out one by one, I know. They get a plague. They got Pleasant View 19. I think children can die with the sickness. Yes, they can. They can, in fact. Um, you have to keep them in a pretty good mood. But I think we can have them have the grandma's comfort soup. And that'll be fine. Can you change his diaper? Why are you just holding him? Oh, she can't because the wall's in the way. We're going to have to move it, I guess. Let's put this. Uh, where should we put this? Um here move this over there i'm gonna have to move this crib around i should have just bought like a full-size crib because this room is kind of big the whole family's going to join daniel literally i really like that smaller crib but i mean if she can't access it then i have to change it let's change it to wait <laughs> i can use one of these children's beds <laughs> no i shouldn't do that maybe he's gonna like roll off um, why don't we change? All right, we're gonna put the changing table right. I hate how it clips with the curtains. That drives me nuts. I can like, mm, I hate that. I can't stand when it clips with the curtains. I might just not put anything. Can I put this play? Okay, this play table can go there. I don't think they. I don't think that he knows all four sides, but that's fine. And then we'll put over here. We'll put changing table, and then. Back over here, we'll put a crib or something like that. I'll put that against that wall. I This room, just the layout of it is horrible. The shape of this room is so strange. But it's fine, I guess. Okay, go change his diaper. Not the full size bed. Like, Dina's baby in that bed. Literally, her little alien baby. <laughs> it rolls off all your thunk. 
Are Mary Sue slinging her PJs? That's what I'm saying. All right, um, let's have everyone go and eat some grandma's comfort soup. We might have to have grandma come over again and grandma Coral and make some more comfort soup because these Sims are not getting cured and I don't know what to do about it. I really just, I don't know what to do. They're not in their best, they're not thriving. It's like the farther the sickness goes on, like the more days they have it for me, the easier they can die, which is so strange. Let's call for a repair service. How's it as alien child? Oh, it's it's still thriving. <laughs> it's still kicking around. All right, yes, we want a repair person. There's like four toilets in this house and they're all broken. Including the one that Angela exploded on when she her water broke. We're going to eat. School bus is coming in an hour for Emery. She can't use the toilet, so she's freaking out. <clears throat> She's taking a shower. Emery needs to use the restroom. Maybe she can go downstairs. Her mom's restroom. I was gonna throw a, what time does Mary Sue get home today? Uh, 3 p.m. Actually, we can still throw a funeral for Daniel um, even when they get home. So that's not too bad. I'm gonna have Mary Sue quickly see if we can get her to have some soup before she goes to work. Maybe she'll get cured or something like that. Emery needs to go to school. Emery go. Oh, she's not gonna be able to because the Mary Sue's carpool's in the way. Oh, that's unfortunate. She's gonna be waiting for a while on that bus. If you don't know, Sims can't, like the buses can't go through if there's like a car in front, which I kind of like and I don't like at the same time. On one hand, it's kind of annoying because now she's like held up until Mary Sue finishes this food. But on the other hand, it's kind of realistic. So I don't know. Dustin found the information he needed to know he really he did. Like Coral outlived Daniel, really living up to her name. True. Yes, she's an oldie for sure. What is this? <laughs> um, Angel wants to defeat the Grim Reaper. That's kind of funny. Okay, can you please just hurry up? Hurry up. Come on. Come on. Hurry up, Mary Sue. Eat your food. I'm gonna have her just walk to work. Oh, she didn't finish eating. Keep keep eating. Keep going. You got it. You got it. Keep keep eating. If anything, I'm worried about Mary Sue dying next. Oh, she didn't get cured. For some reason, the, the Grandma's Comfort Soup doesn't cure them. I don't know why. It just doesn't work in my game. They've all eaten so much Comfort Soup and none of it has worked. So I don't know. Oh, looks like Angela's going to play some video games. She does want to woohoo in a closet. I don't know who she has that she could woohoo with. She doesn't really know any guys. And oh, I need to turn child support off for Rory because Daniel's not so or not Daniel. <laughs> Dustin's not supposed to know. Mary Sue's late for work. I know. Um, yeah, she's not, he's not supposed to know. So I'm going to turn that off for him. I wonder what's the recipe for the soup. Listen, it's a magical soup if it's curing them of their, their illnesses. That's for sure. Looks like the maid's here. We have so much broken stuff in our house right now. Like, we've got toilets. We've got that dishwasher over there. we got toilets upstairs. Angela's hacking up a lung right now. You know, I'm keeping her in a really good mood. I don't know why all these Sims are like dying or they're not cured yet. There is a way to make them not sick anymore. I might just do that because I've had them drink or eat so much soup. A sickness mod just makes the soup help slowly making them better instead of magically curing them after taking one bite. Oh, really? I kind of want like them to be cured after one bite though. I thought it was like it made them cured after one. Mm. Hmm, I'm not sure how I feel about that. Let's see. We can do, um, where's the health? There's like one that makes them, it's called health manipulator. Health, cure sickness, everyone on the lot. All right, let's cure everyone, magically. Cure everyone, there we go. Wait, did it do it? Health, make fireproof, cure sickness. Everyone, should we do everyone in the neighborhood? We're gonna make everyone in the neighborhood cured, suddenly. All right, please help me later. Oh my God, Dustin's back again. Dustin, can you leave me alone, my guy? Please, please, I am begging you. I couldn't take any more of the illness. I, I just had to cheat it off them. <clears throat> All right, Rory needs some attention. I hate the layout of this room. Why did I do it this way? I'm so indecisive. 
All right, let's go and hold Rory. And we're having Daniel's funeral later, so I need to head over to the the church quickly and see if it's all set up. I think I need to move his gravestone um, like to a better location, like on the Pleasant family plot. I think we already have a plot set up because I had Herb die and I gave him a plot. So I might stick... No, I think I might put him on his own plot. I'm not sure. Let's let's go over there right now and we'll check. We'll, we'll take a little look at the church. See what's going on. They also have a recipe for Goopy Carbonara. I did see that TikTok the other day. Someone made Goopy Carbonara. It looks kind of good. Although I'm not really into like a really thick like Alfredo like sauce. I hate the taste of Alfredo. I don't know why. It just doesn't taste good to me. All right, let's go to the... Pleasant View Church and we'll move Daniel's gravestone around so that we can get everything ready for the funeral. And we're going to invite, um, I'm not going to invite Dustin, I'm going to invite Coral and some family friends and stuff like that. Let's see, where did it put his grave? Where did it put his grave? Where is it? Is it here? Yes, it is. Okay, so. I would think because Daniel is such a popular sim, I think I might give them... So here's the goth family plot over here. This is where I put all the goth family gravestones. So we have Victor, Gunther, Gretel, Michael Bachelor. We have Morty right here. I feel like Morty should be more in the center like this. I kind of want him to have a bigger gravestone, but I can't change it. So we'll put that there. Um, these gravestones are so boring, aren't they? They're like all empty. I'm sad about that. But anyway, uh, so here's here's Daniel's gravestone. We're gonna put the, the Pleasant family on this plot over here. I have no idea where I put Herb. Because Herb did die. And also someone else died, right? I think someone else died too. I don't know where I put them though. But yeah, here's my graveyard so far. That's where I'm keeping all my Sims and that sort of thing. And then here's, okay, I might want to delete the wedding arch. <laughs> that might not be the best situation. Um, I'm also gonna delete the champagne. <laughs> I think that's a little bit insensitive. Why are the stones different? Um, some of them are decor, like this. these are decor. You can tell because it says remains on them. And the one that says here lies so-and-so, those are the real ones, like with the real sims attached to them. So that is why, that is why they are different. Okay, I also have a pulpit so that people can, um, what's it called? Lecture at the pulpit so that we can have, like, someone talking to everybody. So I need to see where my pulpit is. I forget where it goes or where it's at. It's a CC item, so I might have to look through here for a second. Where is my pulpit? Mario Sue sh pop some champagne in the back. <clears throat> Pretty sure it's under here. What is this? Oh, books. Bedroom books. Those are cool. Never seen those before. I guess they can use them too because it's in the skill building category. Oh, here it is. Okay, here's my working pulpit. So we're gonna have someone talk. We need someone with high charisma skill and I don't- might be Mary Sue actually. She might have high charisma skills. So we can have someone talk at the pulpit at the funeral. I wish I had like a casket, like maybe not a casket with a sim in it, but like a, at least some, some something to represent Daniel. Let's see, let's conduct this funeral here in a second. This is like an into the future. <laughs> um, is this weird to put this on the ground? I might use that one actually. We can, actually we can use this one right here. This is like a little tiny remains thingy. All right, we're gonna get a little tiny table. A circular table like this. We're gonna plop Daniel. Oh, I can't. Oh, I can. Okay, perfect. And then I thought I couldn't put it on there. All right, there we go. There's Daniel. <laughs> this is a representation of Daniel. <laughs> All right, there we go. So here's the setup for Daniel's funeral. Rest in peace, Daniel. Are you using Sims 3 graves? Yeah, those are conversions for Sims 3 graves. Yeah. And then when everyone gets home from work, we will head on over 
to the Pleasant View Church and we will mourn the loss of Daniel. I need to give everyone new outfits because this is after all a funeral. I'm gonna summon over. We need to make a guest list too. I think I'm gonna invite Cassandra, Dawn, Coral, uh, Lilith, because that's her father. I'm gonna invite Lilith's boyfriend, Curtis, as well. And yeah, well, those are some, some of the Sims we'll invite. All right, let's have her go put Rory upstairs. <clears throat> Oh, Jen. Yes, Jen. I totally forgot. Yeah, we have to invite the burbs too. Thank you for reminding me. Gonna invite the burbs and... That's a big guest list, isn't it? I can't- I for real cannot believe the man died like that. He, he always dies of sickness in my game. I don't know why. She always does. <laughs> She's playing on her gaming device in the hallway. She's really just- yeah, she really just did that. <laughs> I feel like she does not even care. Her dad died. She's just chilling over here. So she has some charisma skill. I think Mary Sue has... Oh, she does not. Wow. Mary Sue has less charisma skill than I thought. And I guess I guess Angela might be the one to give the sermon at the pulpit when everyone gets home in 30 minutes. I'm ready. Alright, so Emery's home now. Her fun is super low. Um, oh my god, Dustin! Leave me alone! He's here like every other minute! He is literally here so often, I don't understand. Alright, we're gonna have everyone head on out. We need to hire a nanny. Okay, Angela, you, you had all day to take a bath. Not now. Dustin has his baby singles. <laughs> Couldn't you use- yeah, I could use visitor controller to ban him, but I kind of like the- I kind of like the storytelling element <laughs> of him visiting constantly. Alright, we're gonna call her just for now. And- oh, Mary Sue, girl! Get it out here! She's like, my husband just died. Hell yeah, let's get it! Ay, 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 ay. <laughs> She's like dancing. I never knew a, a widow to be so happy. Like, literally not even 12 hours after her death of her husband. <laughs> she doesn't give two fucks. <laughs> literally. Alright, where's my nanny? They always take so long to show up. I don't know why. Oh, there we are. Okay, so we're gonna go to the Pleasant View Church with everybody. First Pleasant View Church. Let's head on out. Come on, Angela. What are you doing? What? How did he get in the house? How is Dustin in our house? He's like, I will botch my child. <laughs> Why? Why? Wasn't it- was it the save that Daniel was cheating on her? Yeah, so I actually have um, this entire list by his name um, right here. These are all the sims that he cheated on Mary Sue with. All those sims right there, so... It was quite a few sims. It was quite a few sims that... He was sitting on uh, Mary Sue with. <laughs> I was keeping track so that I could complete his lifetime wish, but obviously he didn't live long enough to do that, unfortunately. <clears throat> All right, guys, are you ready for our funeral? I've never thrown a funeral really in this game, so we're gonna see how this turns out. He's gotten more and more aggressive. First casually walking by, now breaking and entering. Literally, though, <gasps> who is this person that stole Lilith's entire outfit? Chloe Gonzaga. She stole Lilith's entire fit. Like, what is that? Alright. So, I'm gonna have Mary Sue uh, throw the f party. Actually, I'm gonna have her quickly... We're gonna buy clothes, because we need to change them um, into, like, formal attire, so... We're gonna quickly buy black, black morning clothes for everybody. I don't really know if I have like old lady clothes. Oh, I guess I have this. Is that really a funeral attire though? <laughs> I don't have, oh, this is funeral. Okay, we can give her this. This is her morning dress. I wish I had like a veil or something, <laughs> like, a, like a black veil. All right, then we're gonna change Lilith or Angela, sorry. We're gonna change by your clothes. <clears throat> Swimsuits, formal, okay, here we go. 
Uh, I'm not quite sure if this is appropriate, but it is a black dress, so we'll give her that. I'm not quite sure what's appropriate to a a uh, funeral, but you know what? I can take my creative liberties here. And I'm gonna buy Emery some clothes as well. There's formal there. Oh, I missed formal, damn it. Let's go back in here. Dressy up, buy clothes. <clears throat> okay, Emery, I get it, you're pissed off, shut up. Shut up, we don't have time. We don't have time to listen to you bitch and complain. All right, here's her formal attire. I don't have anything for children that has, that's black. So we will give her, I don't know. <laughs> I don't want to put her in pink, but it's kind of all I have for the girls. I'm gonna give her something like this. I don't know. I feel like it doesn't really matter for her because she's a kid. Alrighty, and then we will now go over to Mary Sue and we'll have her throw the funeral. So call, wait, it's throw party, house party? I guess we'll throw a house party. <laughs> it's gonna be kind of sad and it's gonna be at a, oh my God, Dustin? Guys, is this game playing a sick joke on me? Cause Dustin appeared at the top of the list. This game is, is sick. It's, it's playing some sick jokes. All right, so I'm gonna invite Jennifer and we definitely need to invite Coral. I would like to invite Lilith. I mean, I'll just summon Lilith over. So Jennifer and Coral will come for sure, probably. And then over here, we will summon over Lilith and what else? Who, what was the guest list I said earlier? I said I wanted, I wanted, um. I'm like drawing a blink now. John, we need, we need to teleport over Lilith. Oh, I want a Cassandra, right? Cassandra, where's Cassandra? She's, uh, I keep forgetting. It takes me forever. Like, I'm like slow with doing this. Land grab, Malcolm, we don't want Malcolm. Um, oh, Pleasant, I just saw her. Pleasant. Oh, Rory. Wait, that's Rory. Kaylin? Kaylin? Why would Kaylin want to come? I feel like Kaylin would come by herself. Like, she would not be invited, but she would come. You know what I'm saying? Alexander, Dina, Melody. We don't want any of these Sims. We want Cassandra. We definitely want Cassandra here. And we also want... Not Nina. We want... Where's Lilith at? Where did I put Lilith? What's her last name? I can't find her. I forgot who she's living with. Who is who is Lilith living with? Did I put her with Coral? Is she even in the world? Hold on a second. Maybe I put her with Coral. Yeah, I put her with Coral. So we're, we'll get Lilith over here. I think that's everybody. We have John, we have Lilith, we have Cassandra. And then we have Jen and Coral coming. So I think that's all of our family members. That's everybody I wanted here. They're gonna be stuck in the bathroom, unfortunately. Um, so I'm gonna teleport them out here of the bathroom quickly. I need to move this summoning tree because otherwise it makes them all stuck in the bathroom. If they're not a male sin, then they can't get out. I'm just gonna teleport them all out. There we go, make unselectable, make unselectable. And then we're gonna change all of their clothing to their formal attire. I don't actually care if they're not wearing black. I just want to want to make sure for screenshot purposes that my family's wearing black. Um, we need to go to outfits. Where's outfits? Careers, family, appearance. Why change everyone's? Oh, I think I click on the sim, right? Go to sim, sim manipulator, change clothes, formal. All sims a lot. There we go. Okay, everyone should be in their formal attire now. I don't know what the hell some of them are wearing, but that's okay. John's is fine. We're all out here mourning. That's not even the right tombstone. All right, let's go and um, we're going to mourn, mourn, and mourn. We're all gonna be mourning the death of Mr. Daniel. Oh, it's kind of sad actually. Wait, why are they all angry? 
Why are they all angry? Why are they all like shaking their fists? Oh. <laughs> I've never done this before, actually. It's kind of sad, actually. It's kind of depressing. Wait, they're not all mourning anymore. Oh, that was quick. They all got. I guess they got over it pretty fast. Well, this was interesting, to say the least. <laughs> I need to get like a gravestone in the back room. They seem kind of happy, to be honest. Rip. Rip is right. Maybe I'll get like a photo of her at the pulpit or something like that. Might be better. All right, let's have Mary Sue come up here and deliver a sermon. Have everyone come over and listen. Just sit at the sit in the chairs. Come on, Emery. I know you're upset. They really hated him. They were kind of like laughing, which is very strange. Um, I don't know why that would be, but whatever. We're gonna come over here and deliver a little sermon for our beloved Daniel. She's talking about no no cans. <laughs> No cans! Oh, this is sad. Wait, this is this kind of the way that this is like playing out kind of kind of slaps, honestly. It's kind of going well, like this entire this entire party. It's like it's 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 working out more better than I thought it would. I didn't actually get a photo of Daniel, but that's okay because I mean we don't really need one. Like we'll just we'll take a picture like this. Of Mary Sue delivering her sermon here. And Angela's actually watching, which is kind of surprising. She's like looking over at her sister. Wait, is she smiling? No way she's smiling. Oh, she's like indifferent. She's like a little bit. She doesn't know how to feel about she doesn't know how to feel about the whole ordeal, I think. Oh, okay, Emery. Uh, maybe go practice the piano if you're upset. Can I have her um Listen? Yeah, let's have her listen. Oh, she can actually listen in the chair. That's nice. Oh, look! Cassandra actually came over. Emery, why don't you come over and listen? Play? She can play? She's like very, very upset. Does she have like something that she can do? Blow bubbles. Maybe that'll make her fun go up. I don't know. She's blowing bubbles at her own father's funeral. Rest in peace, Daniel. You were beloved. Oh, Angela's getting up. She's like, this bitch just kicked the back of my chair. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what she's thinking. Oh, I forgot to delete the wedding cake. That's awkward. Um, let's go to order a blended drink. I don't know if that's quite appropriate for our event, but you know, normally when you have like a, a, a funeral, right? You have like a after funeral meal. So maybe that's that. Maybe that's what's going on right now. Are you still lecturing? All right, let's come over to Cassandra. We're going to go and give her a little hug. I go say hi Cassandra, thank you for showing up. By the way, a lot of people headcanon that Cassandra and Mary Sue are a couple, like after Daniel dies, because both of their husbands have like scorned them. They're both like scorned women, you know what I mean? And Mary Sue and Cassandra have also been like friends for a really, really long time. Very, very, very time, very long time. Oh, Bella's, <laughs> Bella's here. <laughs> Bella's just casually rolling up to the wedding. She saw it in the newspaper. She's like, hey, how are you guys? Hope the wedding is going okay. <laughs> Interesting. All right, meeting, casually meeting Bella Goth at our own, um, at our own funeral. It's cool. This conversation seems a little bit too happy. I don't know if that's, I don't know how to feel about that. Like for this being a funeral and all, it seems a little bit too positive and optimistic. I'm trying to see if I can get like a photo with the pulpit in the background. Emery, not Emery at the pulpit. <laughs> oh my God, I don't know what's happening. Bella Goth, the queen is here, she's here. I don't know why, but she's here. I feel like this should be like labeled, this, this episode should be labeled the scorned women of Pleasant View. Because, I mean, Mary Sue and um, Cassie are both very scorned women, right? I mean, both their husbands have, like, done them super dirty, so. I don't know if I would have, I don't, I think Mary Sue might be a little bit, I mean, she's, I know she's much older than Cassandra. It all hinges on if Cassandra ends up catching Dawn cheating, and then I will have them probably get together. I've never done that before in my Pleasant View, but... I I just never have had like the opportunity. I mean Daniel died early this this playthrough, so 
I don't know where our party guests are. I guess like Jennifer didn't want to come to her own brother's funeral. I don't know what happened there. What's that saying about scorned women? I think Emery's the only one that actually cared that Daniel died. She's really going through it. Listen, she is really going through it. I'm gonna have her come out here and cry about her dad's death. I'm starting to think he didn't die from sickness. No, not, not the sickness. Mary Sue put something in his drink. Right, let's go and mourn the grave one more time. Party's about to end. It is going well, so it was a good, um, it was a good party. I feel like next time maybe I should add all of our all the guests that I want to come here uh, to a our, our active household so that they don't leave because they just left like immediately. Just kind of sad. Oh my god, not Angela playing <laughs> her gaming device. She's playing. She's gaming over her dad's grave. That is. Oh, also Lilith didn't even show up. I mean, I don't really expect her to show up because. I know for a fact that she she was not a fan of her dad, so makes sense. But like, what the what the actual fuck? She's a clown in the clean template, or she's a townie. Oh, why did I say clown? I thought I thought you were a clown. I mean, she's kind of a clown. <laughs> Game is forever. How's Bella? Yeah, she's she's in the clean template. That's why she showed up. That's how she's here. All right, so everyone is, let's all head on home here. Um, we had a good time, unfortunately. Unfortunate, but you know. Oh, listen, we have a core memory of bringing my grandfather's, of my grandfather's funeral and seeing you would have played Pokemon on my DS. No, oh my God. I feel like Emery's acting more mature than her own older sister. It's like, what? <laughs> oh, I'm gonna get a photo of this. This would be a good photo, right? Like them in the car together after Daniel's funeral. I feel like they're all, I don't know. I feel like Emery is gonna take this trauma of her dad dying super young and, I mean, he wasn't super young, but she was young when her dad died, you know what I mean? She's gonna like harness it into being a preppy girl at school or something like that. Well, I thought Angela was Lilith. How? I try to make my Angela and Lilith like have their own styles specifically for that reason. So people don't get, um, you know, confused and stuff. <clears throat> All right, six hours. We have to sit here and stare. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Save immediately. Oh no. Let's see how long this takes till it crashes. Oh, there it is. It crashed immediately. There it is. There's the message right there. Okay. Very cool. Very cool. Hey, at least I saved, right? <laughs> Yeah. Post-funeral crash. Half expected it. Well, shoot. The pink soup. The pink soup of it all. My game does load very quickly. It's Daniel's message for us. It's Daniel's message because nobody showed up to his funeral. That's kind of sad. Kind of sad. I hope they don't get the baby taken away during this time. Um... I called a I called a nanny, so the baby shouldn't get taken away. <clears throat> we weren't that close, okay? Everyone smelled bad and it was hot out, so I went and hid my DS instead of shaking hands and accepting condolences. Hydration check, thank you, Katie. You should make a pink soup thingy. I don't know what they're called. You mean like a sound effect? Like one of those, or one of those. My head went the wrong way. Also, I cracked my neck when I did that. It felt good. It felt pretty good. <clears throat> right, sad, but well deserved. Uh oh. Yeah, it's okay. We're loading back in now. You know, we've only had one crash this time, which is surprising. It's like I swear I I can diagnose the issue. Was there a crash when I walked away? Yes. Does that happen when you have mods or something? Uh, it's because of my, I think it's a combination of things. It's probably big lot, because the pleasant household is kind of a big lot. Traveling between too many lots. And also, um, reshade maybe, I don't know. I haven't had so many problems. I mean, I have a lot of problems. I only started getting them when I installed reshade, so I don't know. 
Oh, that's nice. They're all T-posing. I love when they do that, when your game crashes and then they just all come back T-posing. It's amazing. Did we have two crashes? I don't remember that pizza. I guess I don't remember the first crash. <laughs> I blanked it out. I blinked out the crash in my mind. Let's do a start their dominance. Pink soup, pink soup, pink soup. I have a feeling it's gonna crash again because you guys see how it's not loading right now. <clears throat> First crash. Oh, right, 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 right. First crash was when Daniel died. Yes. He uh, he wanted to try and fight with us, but the sickness got him again. The sickness got him both times in both iterations of the save. So that's kind of amazing. Hopefully I don't load it and it just doesn't instantly crash. Please, please don't. Please don't crash. Please let me in. Let me in. Oh, I think we're okay. Yes, we're here. Okay, hopefully the nanny's still here too. I think the nanny's still here. Wait, but yeah, the nanny's still here. Um, I'm not sure when they're coming back. Oh, I think they're bugged out. This happens to me all the time where they don't have, like they, they don't come back because I saved the game when they left. Why is Dustin still at my house? Why is Dustin here? I'm not sure when, when they're supposed to be getting back, but I think it was 10, if I am correct. How do I get them out of the void? Uh, I think I can just family. Hmm, how do I do this? It like, it's like they're not even here. I have this happen all the time and I always forget how I save it. There's a way that you have to reset them, I think. Is it force error? It's some, what it is. House, um, teleport here? Oh my God, she's glitched out. <laughs> All right, let's just, uh, let's just force error, reset Mary Sue. There we go. Okay, so where's everyone else? Oh, there they are, okay, perfect. Yeah, I don't know why that happens. Sometimes that happens when I save my game while they're away in like the void of, oh, they lost the car. No, they lost their car. Cause I reset them, they lost the damn car. <laughs> They have the Yomashoto evasion. I'm gonna give them 7K. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Actually, no, they can they can spare for $250. Oh, the car, it thinks the car is there. That's so weird. Look at this. It thinks the car is in the driveway. What even? Let's sell the driveway. Sell the entire driveway and just add another one in. Ah, community time is super glitchy sometimes. I don't know why it works in mysterious ways, but it does. Okay, so there's their car. I replaced it. Oh, now I need to reinstall a another alarm. Damn it, get alarm installed. Why is Dustin still here? I'm gonna save my game. <clears throat> All right, let's go. Come on, game. You can do it. Oh no, the car. I know the car. It like took the car from them. I feel like we've had a very successful playthrough of the Pleasants. Like we've done so much stuff. What do we play next? Who's next up? Next in our gameplay is ooh 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 ooh. ooh. The Calientes and the Langrax, which is Nina and Kaylin and their kids together. I mean, they're not dating, they're roommates, but there might be some romance on the horizon for those two. I really would like to get Kaylin and Nina together. Dustin lives here at this point. I don't know why he's here. I can't tell you, I have no idea. I'm gonna dismiss the nanny. We don't need her anymore. Get out. And then we will serve up some hamburgers. Finally, Nina. Yes, we're back to Nina. <clears throat> we are back to Nina. Very soon, we will be back to Nina. So that's fun. Um, what's that? 2015 Citron DS4 by... I don't know what that is. And they were roommates. Exactly. Uh, okay, Mary Sue's still away. Get in the car alarm. There's vehicles trying to return to the slop. There are no available driveways. You must first place a driveway in order for the vehicle to return. There is a driveway though, game. See, it thinks 
It for some reason thinks the car is still here, which is so weird. So I'm gonna move the driveway over to this side of the lots. That glitch, this glitch always happens. If anyone in the comments of the YouTube video knows why this happens to me when I, um, it's because of community time, I know that. But like, how do I fix it would be my, it's probably more pertinent question. It's super annoying when this happens because this happens quite frequently actually. When the game thinks that there's, there's a car in this driveway right here, but there's really not. <clears throat> I mean, there might be, but it's like invisible, you know what I'm saying? Oh Lord. It's quite annoying, actually. So I guess we'll just move the driveway over to the other side. <clears throat> I can't suggest enough. In every game I have, Nina and Kaylin have a couple and, or as I make Kaylin a couple and they're adorable, should try it. I should try it. I haven't done it before. I think we'll try it this upcoming playthrough. I That was my original plan. Like if you guys watched the video back, <clears throat> my original plan was to make them a couple but it's been like literally so, I think the last time I played them, I was like back at my house, like not at school, you know what I'm saying? So we'll do that. All right, Marie Sue should be able to come home now. There we go, perfect. I should just move the driveway across the house, which is fine, I guess. Months ago, it was months ago. Vehicles trying to return to this lot. There's no vehicle game. Okay, so the way I fix it is I use FFS lot. Oh, I'm gonna have to use that to force errors on all in the world, and then it cancel until you get to the car, driveway, or something relating to the car or the driveway and hits Lee. Oh man, I think I'm gonna keep getting that notification if I don't do that. Um, should we just uh, force errors on all, on all in world? Okay. Um, should I hit reset? No, cancel, cancel, cancel. We're gonna have to keep going. It's gonna be so much stuff. Driveway animation rig sports car. It might be that. Takes a while though, so be warned. I'm gonna reset that. Weeds, shower tub, oh, it's gonna take forever. Like, is this the car? I think this might be the car actually, hold on. Wait, maybe that error we got, FPS 2015. Wait, is this the car Citrion? Oh, this is it. This is the car. DS4? I'm gonna Google just yep, that's that's the car. Alright, delete. And we'll just hit we'll just hit cancel and everything else, because that was it. Delete. Yeah, we're gonna delete it. We'll have to keep hitting cancel. Oh my god, there's so much. <laughs> there's so much. Can I just hit escape? I'm just gonna spam escape, sorry. Okay, work, delete it. You guys hear this? I'm just spamming the escape button to get rid of all these. You can hold escape. Oh, oh, I can hold escape. Okay, wait, I'm gonna, so I don't give anyone a seizure. Um, I'm gonna turn that off. I'm gonna like put it on my face for a second. Yeah, if you guys can hear that, I'm still holding escape. Still holding escape. It's still going. Wow. It's going through every object in the house. So. Oh, okay, we're done. All right. Oh, no, we're not done. There's still more. There's still more coming up. Mary Sue. Oh, there's still more. How is there still more? Shower tub. They also just gained a day, by the way. Oh, I think we're good. I think we're good. Okay, there we go. What? Homework. There's still, how is there still more stuff? I wonder if like stuff takes more time to show up. You can hold it. I am holding it. I'm holding it. I'm gonna delete it real quick. I think we're good. All right, go sleep, Mary Sue. All right, so that car, we deleted it. Oh, never mind. Guy totalitarianism. There's still, there. how is there still more? Please, thank you. Okay, Emery's, oh, Emery's birthday soon. I wish it all like loaded in at once. It's like trickling in. Oh, who's this? Wait, it says that there's someone in her bed. It's not gonna be right, right? I think she can still get it in. My messages are coming in late because of the mobile lag rip. Mm, it's going through all their memories too, dear God. I'm like scared it's gonna crash my game, so I'm gonna quickly save here. I mean, we already got the car, so now I just kind of have to play through and delete all the messages or get rid of all the messages that are popping up. 
All right, Marius is asleep. Angela is going to sleep. The bed got reset. Don't worry, it'll fix it when someone gets in it. Okay. Oh, stuff is still coming in. Sims 2 is exploding at this point. Yeah. I'm glad I got rid of that car, though. I've, like, never found a fix for it, so I'm glad that you told me that, Will. It's actually really helpful. Here we go. All right, perfect. We're all set now. Angela's still- Angela's obsessed with her game on her phone. I'm gonna take this photo and just move it on the wall above the- That oh, looks good. I kind of want to change, like, the wallpaper to, like, a white wallpaper in here. I feel like that makes sense. Do this one. I just want like a basic white wallpaper. This is like an off white, like a cream color. There's gotta be a white wallpaper in The Sims too, no? I kind of like that one actually, with the molding on the bottom. All right, we'll do that for the. I, I'm just indecisive of what I want to do in this living room, or this kitchen. I mean, did I say living room before? My kitchen. Okay. Oh my God, Rory's out of his crib. Poor, poor baby. <laughs> Go upstairs. Go upstairs, go put him in there. Here we go, perfect. I think I wanna redo Rory's room too, cause something I just don't like about it. Like I don't like, oh, I didn't turn these. Maybe that's what it is. Something like the layout is just, I think it's weird. Like I don't, I don't quite like where the crib is over here. Maybe the crib would be better underneath this window. I'm not sure if it fits there, that's the problem. Oh, Rory needs something. Change his diaper. I feel like Mary Sue should be retiring soon too. She does, she doesn't have a wish to retire. I think it's because she's uh, a money sim. What is it called? A wealth. What is it? Wealth? Money? Fortune. That's what it's called. <laughs> I haven't played The Sims 2 in so long. Can you tell it's been a, it's been a couple weeks since I played The Sims 2. I have actually been craving playing The Sims 2 though, so. It's like sated my, this, this, this playthrough sated my, um, my my urge to play the sims too how's the cool skinny waist bimbo doing in herbs she's good she you know she's taking a she's taking a break this week she's taking a break this week after all of the chaos the past couple weeks you know she needed a little break from me oh we're done we're done with uh, the pleasant household well that was really chaotic honestly that was quite chaotic um daniel died Angela had a baby. The baby was siphoning energy from Daniel. All around just craziness. All around just absolutely- why is this- hello? He's like in my front door. <laughs> when you- when I- when- 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 uh- when- yeah. Pretty much. Anyway, we're done with the Pleasant Household. Everyone, let's all cheer. We made it through. We, uh, not everyone died, which is great. So in the beginning of the next rotation for the Pleasants, which will be the third rotation, Emery will be aging up. And, oh, we have to add an entry for Rory. So let's add Rory. He's a baby. We don't know his sign or anything yet, so we'll have to wait for him to age up. Yay, we did it, everybody, we did it. Hey, thank you, Kyo. Kyo Yuki, thank you for the tier one at two months. I appreciate it. Okay, so now we're gonna load into the, uh, what's it called? Caliente and Langorak household. Which, oh my God, whoever whoever said earlier that I should have invited Kaylin, I mean, I don't know if she'd be invited, but she did have a baby with Daniel. So, hmm, hmm, interesting. Interesting. Yeah, Sammy, it was you. It was you that said that. I forgot that she had kids with Daniel, though. I found your channel just some days ago due to my herbs revisit. Love that you're currently playing it. Yes, thank you. You know, I sw I swap between Sims games, so we'll come back to it. The Sims is giving Breaking Dawn part two where Jacob is kind of just loitering around the Cullen household because he imprinted on the baby and defected from his whole fight. No, it's so true. It's so true. All right, so here we are. I do remember that these girls were struggling, like funds wise, they were not doing very well. Um, oh yes, I forgot that, uh, what's it called? 
Oh my god, Nina had a baby with this ugly townie, right? Oliver, I think his name was. Oliver Desperate. Yeah, the ugly townie. And then these two, or these tr these quads are the child of children of Daniel, which is like what the hell. So, mm. it's gonna be an interesting playthrough next stream. Um, this house is kind of small for them, but it's fine, I guess. How ugly? Oh, it's a girl. She's pretty ugly though. She's definitely definitely did not get the jeans that snapped. Genetics did not snap. But she works late at night because she's uh works in the slacker career, Nina, so. We're gonna have to like get deeper into them in the next stream. Um we can like play a little bit around with them right now, maybe like a day or so. This household is a lot of like me just grinding to get them money because they are super poor. I always have to call over a nanny when um I'm trying to have all of them learn their skills, and I think I did. I think they all learned their skills, right? Or did he not learn their skills? I'm not sure. He learned how to- Oh, he learned how to walk, talk, and potty train. Oh, I forgot this. This is so cute. Nina has been teaching Kaylin's children their skills. Like, is that not so cute? She's like working super hard to like be a parent to both kids. It's- I, I think it's adorable. Um, I don't think this kid grew up well though. He grew up bad. Wait, what are who are you? You are what's your name? Felix. Felix Langerak. He I don't think he grew I don't think he learned any skills. Hold on. I think the only one who learned the skills is this kid right here. Who are you? Phineas. Phineas is the only one that learned his skills. Did the triplets ever get to meet Daniel? No. No, they did not. Kaylin kinda kept them a secret from Daniel, so. Yeah, that didn't. Oh, what's this? An underwater treasure waits behind a group of sturdy rock, and Kaylin needs to decide what the best way to demolish the rock would be. Should she use C4, which is controlled but weaker, or dynamite, which is stronger but more volatile? I think we should go for the safe way. Let's go for C4. Kaylin decides to use C4 and sets off a charge. The rocks crumble away, revealing the treasure, and Kaylin and her crew successfully recover all of it. Uh, Kaylin gets a large bonus of 500 simoleons with today's party. Hey, nice Kaylin. She's climbing on up. She is certainly climbing on up. And oh my god, she wants to be friends with Dustin. Wait a sec, I kind of like that couple. Dustin and Kaylin? I kind of like that. I kind of like that couple. Hold on, so she wants to be friends with Dustin. I think I might actually have her do that and like maybe pursue a relationship with him. Why does that kind of, that's kind of a cute couple. I don't know, I kind of like it. Anyway, um, Nina does want to resurrect Daniel, which is so funny. I guess words, word of his passing has gone, pa gone around Pleasant View. Oh, what's your... What's your, what, what in-game sim should I fix? This family dynamic, what do you mean? They're just gals living together. Nothing weird about it. That owe like lots of money in loans. They owe uh, $62,000 in loans. Who knows if they'll ever pay that off, honestly. Um, I'm gonna have Nina go to the grocery store here quickly because we need to go to the grocery store. No, what's weird is Dustin? Why? What's weird with Dustin? The whole Dustin. Listen, Dustin. I feel like we just. I need some pairings here. I need some pairings here in Pleasant View. God damn! What's god damning? Um, we need some groceries. Let's go to the mall. Okay, why do I feel like she would join Dustin in stalking Angela and taking the baby? 60k. Yeah, they had to. They had to borrow 60k in order to pay for this house. So, yeah, they owe quite a bit of money. I don't know if they're ever going to be able to pay it back, but you know what? The loan is there. Freaking creep, and now he has ladies on his side. Listen, I mean, Kaylin wants to be friends him, so... I'm just going to go along with it. I should have locked it in, because I think I locked in the have a baby want. I should have locked in the damn be friends with Dustin want. Damn, I screwed up on that one, didn't I? This could not end well. <laughs> Alright, so we're going to have... 
Need to get some groceries here. No, my game crashed. Damn it. Why me? It's because this lot is ginormous. Like this lot, the, the Sunnyside Mall lot is huge. It is huge. It is a huge lot. I hate when it crashes in between lots. It's so annoying. Hmm. No, I know. Like, why? Why do you crash? Let me in. Let me play. I just want to play. That's the third crash this stream. Isn't that lovely? Oh my god, that scared me. That was like a jump scare. <laughs> it scared the shit out of me. EA Games. Challenge everything. Ahem. <clears throat> Rip in peace. Isn't it- isn't Rip already in peace? Loki's attracted to Cassandra. Are you playing an Uberhood? By the way, did you see what I want to change about Dina? Oh, sorry, I didn't see that. Um, I feel like Dina? We're not playing Dina right now, though. Would have shorter hair after 40, after four kids in her mid-30s and more makeup to cover up the wrinkles, though. We're not playing Dina. We're playing Nina, though. Do you mean, do you mean Nina or do you mean, actually mean Dina? Because Dina's like a really long way away. Like we have to go around a whole rotation. Oh, okay. Are you playing Strange Town and Pleasant View? Ooh. Let's go to Pleasant View. I can change, I can change Nina a little bit. I'm saying Nina. <clears throat> mm -mm. Can change her i just need her to go to the grocery store i really wish my game had not crashed because we're losing time here we're losing time all right let's go to where is K oh, there they are caliente caliente and langerak family they have quite a long name not the acado frog <clears throat> that is me Acado frog. I think I have the best follower emotes. Do I not, guys? Like, come on. I have the best follower emotes. Let's be real here. I have sassy nails. I've got the really bitch. I've got the Acado what the fuck. And I've got the Acado frog. So I have the best follower emotes, guys. Come on. I don't do the do the follower emotes only work on my channel or do they work on the other channels like on Twitch too? I think they only work on my channel, right? <clears throat> they're my my finest moments okay so let's see if she'll come back let's see if she'll come back come on nina there we go all right so first let's do the like off fan pages makeover for uh nina i almost said dina too <laughs> you keep saying dina i keep saying or you keep saying dina i keep saying same thing did you know that you can't redeem highlight my message if there are no words? Oh, that's interesting. Okay. So makeover. You said you wanted her to have shorter hair. Shorter hair. Shorter hair. Let's see. Um, what do I have that's shorter? Maybe like a bob? Are you thinking of a bob or I feel like this would be like a soccer mom hair? Hot mess. I love how the hair is like animated when you like move them around. It's so cute. Um, I'm thinking something like maybe I feel like this bob over here. Wait, where was it? Uh, where was that hair I just had on her that I liked? Now it's gonna get lost in the sea of my CC. Straight mid hair like her daughter. Oh, like this. But then Lilith has this hair, so it's too close to Lilith's. Lilith has um the one with what's it called? Stripes in it. It's got stripes. Oh, this is cute on her. We'll give her this. Just quickly trying to like get her makeover over so that we can make her makeover over. So we can send her off to the grocery store. Cause sure kids need food. It's that one, yeah, that looks cute. Um, should we give her some thicker eyebrows, maybe? Let's do... 
Um, yeah, she looks much better with a makeover. Like, it doesn't take much to make Nina actually look nice, so... Alright, I think this is my makeover for Nina. Oh, she's vomiting. <laughs> she's like, ew! What is this nastiness? Alright, now we're gonna- I'm gonna save right now. And then we'll send her off to go to the grocery store. Hopefully- I need, like, a grocery store that isn't connected to anything, because otherwise my game just crashes when it goes to that mall. We have to, like, get lucky, or I have to not be streaming. I don't know what it is, but streaming takes up, like, so much... Um, power of my computer. I don't know why. <clears throat> that hair, yeah, that's cute hair. All right, so have her grab, grab, grab. We'll have her grab some groceries. Grab some groceries. That's a hard word to say. Grab groceries. Grab groceries. And then have her head on home. And then in the next stream, if we end up playing Sims Two, um we can continue on with this family and i hope i like the story of nina and kaylin like being an item but if she wants to if kaylin wants dustin which is kind of a weird storyline i will admit i feel like i i can't deny her of that i sh I, I just can't okay i can't i would never go home just had to quickly get some groceries back home and that will be probably it for this stream. I'm like really warm in my room. It's hot. It's hot in my room because my lights. Chico. Everyone loves Chico. <laughs> I'm doing everything in my power to make sure that doesn't happen. All right, we're back. The main household. I actually love this house. It's very cute for like a small starter family. Is Nina and Nina just cheaters with the same goal? I'm gonna do everything in my power to make sure that doesn't happen. She's pregnant with Dawn's baby. Wait, who is? <clears throat> All right, come on home. Come on home, Nina. Let's go. Come on, buddy. Frost. All right, so I think I'm going to end stream there, guys. Next week, we will continue on with some Sims 2 and we'll play Nina and Kaylin's household, which is going to be super fun. Um, and I can show you guys like more of the dynamic here because I feel like I haven't showed this household. It's been super long since we played this household, so I'm going to also dismiss the maid or the nanny here. Serve up some grilled cheese for everybody. But yeah, guys, I hope you did all enjoy stream this week. I will catch you all next weekend. I hope you guys have a good week. And yeah. Bye guys. Have a good night.